This is going to be a video on how MyProfit handles PPC management. Uh, the first step is we're going to go here where it says set ad group target ACOS. If you're not familiar with what ACOS means, it's basically advertising cost of sale. Um, for instance, if you have a product that sells for $100 and is, you're running a PPC campaign on it, and it took $10 of ad spend in order to get that $100 sale, your advertising cost of sale in this instance is 10% because it's $10 of ad spend over $100 of revenue. Uh, so in this page, we have a campaign and ad group. Uh, in your own uh, in, on your own page, you're gonna basically it self-populates with all your campaigns and all your ad groups, and you can set a target um, ACOS for that ad group. Um, for instance. Um, let's say I want to set a 20% ACOS for this manual ad group here. Um, I could just do that and then I'll do 20% for this as well. Um, now in determining your ACOS target, it really depends on uh, so a couple of factors really. Um, number one is your profit margin. So in case your profit margin is uh, 20%, and you want to be conservative, you already have an established product, you just want to have a PPC campaign where uh, you're driving extra traffic to your listing, uh, but you don't want to lose money on those um, um, PPC campaigns, you sh could set your ACOS at like a level of 10% because you're making your profit margin is 20%. And uh, you, if you set an ACOS target of 10%, that leaves you with another 10% of um, a profit on that sale. Now, in cases where you're just launching a product, you actually want to be a little bit more aggressive. Maybe you want to set your ACOS target at um, basically your profit margin. Say your profit margin is 20%, you might want to set at 20%. Now, if you want to be very aggressive, you could set it above your profit margin and say maybe you want to set at 25%. Uh, I, I think that's acceptable sometimes as well because when you have a PPC campaign um, or let me say rephrase it, when you have PPC sales those PPC sales actually drive organic sales so sales that don't come through uh, a, a cost per click method uh, where Amazon users just uh, when they're searching for a product and your product naturally pops up uh, because Amazon system, uh, their algorithm is based on um, sales and conversions. And so basically, the more you sell, the higher you rank. And so the higher you rank, the more sales you get. So uh, just when in, if you're just launching a product, you really want to drive um, as much PPC sales as you can. So you get um, uh, additional uh, views on your product. Now, this is similar in the respect to people do running giveaways or driving external traffic. Now, people are spending money for those giveaways or they're giving discounts on them. So it's kind of the same concept. You want to um, drive PPC, but in a kind of a smart way. You don't want to drive PPC on keywords that are not uh, effective. So that's kind of the point of running um, like uh, my profits PPC management is basically um, you're either combing through your search term reports by yourself manually using Excel, which takes kind of a lot of work and it's kind of tedious, or you could, if you really know what you want to do, and it's kind of, you should just let a system handle it. If you already know kind of exactly what the rule sets you want to apply to your campaign. So, because why do that manually when you could just have a system do it, right? Now we have two different rule types. We have auto campaign rules and we have manual campaign rules. If you're not familiar with the differences between an auto campaign and a manual campaign, a quick overview of it is basically uh, auto campaign, actually uh, manual campaigns are um, campaigns where you decide which keyword you want to bid on uh, versus an auto campaign is you let Amazon decide which uh, keywords to um, if, um, display your ads on. Um, so basically Amazon looks at your listing and your keywords and they based off of that they try to uh, come up with a, a list of keywords that your product uh, your ad should just be displayed on. 
Now, um, now it is systems making that determination. So, uh, depending on uh, if you're keyword stuffing or what's in your uh, product listing, there might be some long tail keywords in there that aren't super relevant. And uh, what that's going to do is your conversion rates are not going to be that great. And so, your ACOS is going to be pretty high because people are clicking your ads but they don't want to buy your product or it's, it, it, it could be even like people not even clicking your ads at all just because your your keywords aren't relevant so uh, what we want to do is <clears throat> usually these keywords there could be thousands of keywords so you're like sorting through like thousands of keywords trying to find which ones are not performing well uh, so th in, instead of doing that you just use our use my profit system to kind of do that for you so we're going to create a new rule rural group um, so i can't pronounce rural <laughs> and uh basically just we're just gonna give it a name here so this is uh, like a test negative rural group right uh this it doesn't matter it's just for your reference you just add a rule here you can add many rules like uh but we're just going to do here negative uh rural group here uh negative new rule and so Right here is what we call a condition. These are conditions, and then these are uh, basically thresholds, and then these are an action. So based on a conditional uh, if statement, um, if uh, and this is a threshold statement, and then an action statement. So let's give an example. So let's say if uh, a COS target, which is what we set before to 20%, exceeds, uh, uh, is exceeded, um by uh, i guess how do i explain this 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 box here is kind of a buffer or a, 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 it's a, 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 a um, what you call it it's in addition to kind of the acos target you set in the prior page so if, let's say our acos target we said was 20 percent, which is what we set there and you put a zero here so it's going to say if the ACOS target is greater than ACOS is greater than our ACOS target of 20 percent it's going to trigger this if this threshold here is uh, is a met so let's say we only want to run this um, uh, conditional statement if there's been 20 clicks and if that's true we want to move that keyword into the negative keyword um, so it removes that from our auto campaign so we no longer uh, show our ads on that keyword so just to review it, our rule set is basically saying if our ACOS target is greater than what we set prior then after 20 clicks uh, perform our action now um, let's say for maybe this specific rule group, we want to do um, instead of just taking what we set before, we want to like add a buffer to it. So you could put like a value of 10 here. Uh, so basically, what that does, it adds this 10% on top of what we set in the prior page. So if the ACOS um, uh, advertising cost of sale is greater than basically 20 plus 10, 30%. Uh, then after 20 clicks, evaluate it, and if that's the case, then let's move that keyword into our negative keyword group. So that's kind of the basic premise of how uh, this works. It's really just kind of uh, <clears throat> you're setting a rule here of a condition, um, and then um, basically after a certain threshold is met, then it performs the action uh, that we want to do. So that's this example. But once you save that, you could assign them to a specific um, ad group. If you don't assign it to an ad group, it's not going to perform the action. Um, we perform uh, a rule check every night. Uh, so we run these rules every night. Um, now you can create your own rules, but we also provide like a sample of kind of um, a sample group of rules here. Um, basically, <clears throat> in this example here, we're going to lower bids for a um, camp, uh, ad group. If say the ACOS target is exceeded um, by 10% on top of what we set, in our group target level after 40 clicks we want to decrease the bid by 10 percent 
until it meets a floor of five cents. So basically, what this does is, if the ACOS target is exceeding what we're ex uh, where we're ex uh, where are we're expecting, after 40 clicks, let's decrease the bid by 10 percent. So you say your bid was a dollar. We're going to decrease that bid to 90 cents. So if this thing he constantly triggers, um, then it's going to keep on going down until it hits five cents. Now, why do we set a floor here? Just in case, um, like if you floor it out at five cents and not at zero, then the campaign is still active. So you might catch some. Um, bids here and there for your keywords and if it's at five cents a bid it's it's worth the probably the five cents to drive traffic to your listing uh, the real reality is most likely there's you're not going to get hit on that bid uh, so but we just set a floor there you could put it to zero or whatever you want maybe 25 cents uh, depends on how you want to structure things this increase Increased exposure is uh, basically the opposite of this. So if our ACOS is performing better than expected, uh, so let's say it's uh, less than our target, then uh, we're going to perform an action if our threshold is met. So over here, it originally had a negative 10%. So basically, it takes my group level target rate of 20 that we set prior, and it subtracts 10. So like in this case, we want to be like really low on in terms of our um, ACOS in terms of versus our ACOS target. Now this over here, you've noticed this one times average clicks per conversion over here and 1.5 times average click conversion. This this topic is slightly complicated. It's uh, there's going to be products that you have where um, uh, your conversion rate might be different between one product and the next. Now you don't want to set like an absolute click rate for both products if they have different conversion rates. So what we do is we calculate the conversion rate for you for your entire ad group and uh, this way you don't have to set an absolute click amount. Uh, so for an example if a product that you have requires um, five clicks before you get one sale. That's basically what we refer to as a 20% conversion rate because you're getting one out of five basically. Uh, one conversion out of five clicks is a 20% conversion rate. So <clears throat> in this scenario, we're expecting a sale every five clicks. So on this example where this is one times average clicks per conversion, so if we're expecting a sale after every five clicks, so it's, this is equivalent to this saying five absolute clicks. Or if you do two times, basically that's exp uh, that means it's we're expecting ten clicks before we exp uh, get receive a conversion. Um, actually, sorry, let me rephrase that. You're still expecting um, five clicks per conversion, but instead of waiting for um, five clicks. We're going to double that to 10 clicks. So we're going to wait until it has 10 clicks before we evaluate our um, our, our, con our condition here and before we perform an action. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if not, you can always, always shoot us an email. Uh, but beyond just these clicks, there's other thresholds you can use. So like maybe you want to do like after five days or like after like 10 orders or something like that. Um, you, you could set that uh, in this this you could choose that here um, also instead of ACOS target that we set before you could just do an ACOS um, flat value absolute value you could just do it here like so th instead of looking at the ACOS targets we set for the ad group you just is going to just take a if the ACOS is exceeded by f five over five percent, then it's going to check their threshold, and if it meets our threshold, then we're going to perform our action here, right? Now, um, so we have increased ad exposure here. So both this rule and this rule are um, increasing the bid. Uh, so the difference here is they have different con uh, conditions. So this is looking at checking your ACOS target. This one's checking your impressions. So this one's saying if your impressions are less than 200, basically, 
then and after seven days and then increase the bid because if this is saying that your bid is too low and you're not getting any impressions so instead of having to go into seller central to check this all the time basically it's saying like if you want to set this rule in place then it will automatically increase your bid and you can set a maximum bid amount just so you don't let it go out of control you don't you don't want the system to like get put you all the way up to like hundred dollars a click or something like that so it clicks your ad and you actually paid a hundred dollars for a click uh, so that's that manual campaigns are basically almost exactly the same thing as auto campaigns in terms of the rule sets um, main difference between an auto and a manual campaign in terms of our rules is auto campaign <coughs> occurs at both the ad group level for the bidding and then on the keyword level if for uh, negativing, neg negativing out the keywords whereas in a manual campaign everything we do is at the keyword level because you're picking the keywords already so we're going to just uh, apply our rules and actions to specific keywords so we're going to increase bids decrease bids or we're going to pause uh, uh, your bids based on at the keyword level so everything else is has the same premise um, but that's this over here so besides that we're gonna you, like the actions we perform on your campaigns uh, can be tracked here at the PPC dashboard it's a uh, kind of like a chart format where we show you a bunch of metrics for your ads um, so these are uh, all the different metrics that we track here there's other metrics we might add in the future but uh, so over here are some actions that we do we increase bid decrease bid we paused our negative data keyword so this here is increase bid so every one of these carrots up carrots are basically uh, the system increasing the bid so in this instance our set, uh, our example here we we don't have the specific keyword that we increased we just putting a, saying sample keyword sample keyword but in your live scenarios we're going to tell you which keywords we increased the bid for um, so if you had five of them we're going to list all five of the keywords that we increased the bids for now this chart is like looks really busy so it's kind of hard to figure out what's going on but what's cool is you can just come here and kind of um, turn off or on whatever you want to see so let's say we don't want to see clicks we don't want to see ACOS we don't want to see cost per click. Uh, maybe we want to keep sales, or but we want to take out costs. So we're, this this chart now becomes your impressions, with uh, overlaid with your sales, and then overlaid with kind of the actions that we've taken on your ad, right? And we could put stuff back in as well, or we could take all of these out, and then start from scratch and just like at like our cost over time or our sales look clicks over time and then our sales over time um, so that's that and here's an example of an auto campaigns basically the same thing as well but here like for instance this one we have a sample keyword that we negative out uh, so uh, that's pretty much it uh, if there's any questions you guys can email us through our site or just info at myprofit.co great thank you